Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today I want to show you how you can import and export assets using what Harpage Imager call the Resource Manager. Well, let's get started. Okay, so you want to import your custom assets or maybe assets from other Harpage Imager inside Harpage Imager MZ and you do not know how. Well, all you need to do is go at the very top of the toolbar here inside the RPG Mature Editor and you will see a little button over here which is called Resource Manager. So if you click on it, you will have the whole list of every single graphics and also sound effects that is currently inside your game. So it goes from battle bags to characters, enemies, faces, tile sets, background music, sound effects, everything is there. As you can see, you got options on the right, which has preview, import, export, or delete, and also DLC. So what are those specifically? If you click on any asset, let's say that I click on the tile set over here, I click on dungeon underscore A1, a preview will simply give me exactly what this tile set looks like. So it's that simple. Now, if you want to import an asset for a new tile set, let's say that I want to import tile sets that I used to play with when I was using RPG Maker MV. Now, all I need to do is click on the folder tile set, make sure that you select the folder in which you want to import your assets, it's very important. Now I'm going to click on import, go through my folders to pick up those tile sets. Uh, not exactly sure where they are anymore, so bear with me. Oh, I think we're hit. Yep, that's it. And okay, so it is the whole list of all the tile set that I used to play with for my game. So let's say, for instance, that I want to import what is called the Celiana tile A1 to A5. So I'm just going to select all of them, click on open. And there you go, they've been imported inside my games. That simple. So if I close this, click on save, and I go inside the database in order to go inside the tile sets, you will see here that these are the tile sets that are pre-constructed by the RPG Maker MZ. Now if I try to modify, let's say, well, actually let's create a new one, go to seven, which I'm gonna call Soliana tile set. And if I click on A1, there you go. I can easily import those inside my editor. They have already been imported actually, and now I can simply create a tail set with them since they're already imported. So that's how you can import assets. It's really that simple. Go inside Resource Manager, click on the folder in which you want to import those assets, click on Import, select the file, and there you go. Now for export, pretty much the same thing, really. So click on tile sets. Let's say that you want to modify one of the tile sets inside of Maker Maker MZ uh, through Photoshop and stuff, and you're not sure how you should do this. So just click on export. Select the file you want, click on export, click on desktop or whatever you want to store it, give it a name. Oh, of course, uh, make sure to save it as a type. So in our point, that will be a .png for our defense. There you go. And if I go under my desktop, Give it a name, .png is right over here. If I double click over there, there you go. There's my file. It's that simple for exporting. So import, export, really that simple. Now the last thing I want to cover today is the DLC. So what does the DLC does exactly? Well, as time goes on, RPG Maker MZ unlocks new content for you to be able to import. And these were usually go inside DLC. Uh, that's also if you were to buy packages uh, of additional content and assets on the Steam store or wherever, this is also the folder in which they will go. But they're not initially imported inside the game when you create a new one. So you have to manually go inside DLC, select exactly what you want as basic resources, pictures or plugins, and like if I go inside my pictures, here's all the characters that are available to you. So that's it for DLC. Okay, so this was a quick and short video to cover Resource Manager. It's really, really simple to use and handle, but it's good to know for those that were unaware on how to use it. Make sure to like, subscribe, yada, 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 and I'll see you on another video. Bye. Okay, bye.